Good morning. I'm doing more target making stuff. I come over to my dad's house sometimes and while I'm there while he's sleeping. Which is a lot longer after I get up. I decide I make some targets. Sometimes I may do it in the evening, but this is in the daytime. I got glue on my fingers. Anyways, um <clears throat> these are really thick shish kebab skier sticks. I have a lot of thin ones at home. I got these at the local store this morning. And then there's some beads. I got this. It's called the 99 cent store. But, you know, they got different stuff at different stores. There's a dollar a bag. And a dollar for a bag of sticks. So, um, with these, you can just take the beads. And you can slip them on the top if you want. But I don't like to do that. I've had problems with them coming off sometimes. And you can put that in a, like in a box. Poke a hole in the box with one of these and then slip this in. And you can line them all across the box at different heights or the same height, it doesn't matter. And different sizes. I like different sizes. Um, I like a variety. And then um, what I like to do is I like to glue them on. So what I do is I figure out about, you know, where these are going to go on. Then I'll put some glue right there. Just a little dab. Just something to make it uh, stick. So just a little bit. See? And I just slip that on there. And then it'll dry. I got myself a nice target to shoot at. But the other shish kebab uh, skier sticks um, they're about as thick as the top of this is all the way down so some of these beads can be lined up in different uh, segments you know like right here right here right there all the way down and then what I do is um, I just poke it into the, the cardboard box with a point and I have you know different distances where the segments where the beads are located on uh, the stick and then I shoot the top one and then the next one and the next one like that once in a while the stick will break off but um, you know but basically these sticks are pretty strong they're made out of bamboo and sometimes the stick won't break but the bead will break when I hit it because they're made out of hard plastic um, and I think these right here I don't know, they might be made out of wood, but whatever they're made out of, they break too. Uh, that's one of my pellet target making ideas that I have. Uh, uh, you get like 125 big ones uh, like this for a dollar, and with a small one, you get 400 of these so um, I think you get I don't know like a hundred or so of these bamboo sticks of the smaller of the thinner ones and um, these there's probably I don't know 30 or 50 or something like that probably 50 for a dollar so <clears throat> cost a little over two cents a piece for each one of these that's pretty cheap that's what a, a pretty good pellet would cost. So. And then they're reusable. You can glue another piece on or stick another piece on. So the sticks are, are reusable for a long time. That's a long video for just talking about targets. <laughs>